Well, here we are. Um, well, here I am. I'm uh, logging in next to Howling Stones. It was. I just was watching the Cubs and the Dodgers play a minute ago and on my laptop. I was running No Man from the um, from the outpost down through the the area with all the uh, Scorpicus and stuff. And I was like, man, it feels like I haven't like done this run in years. But, you know, it has been years, but uh, I misspoke. It felt like I hadn't done that run in a very short period of time, but it has actually been years since I was playing my uh, t playing Tecmos and coming down here. It wasn't very eloquently stated, but um, it was definitely like second nature coming back down here. So uh, I got myself all buffed up. I got my spells ready to try and go in. I don't know what's going on inside. For all I know, there's somebody right inside the entrance fighting already. <laughs> Um, and I was just planning on fighting right at the entrance because um, I didn't find Theft of Thought earlier today, and uh, it really makes a big difference in fighting at Howling Stones because of how much free mana you can get. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to head in and the, the method that I usually have used in the past when, uh, you know, the last time I was in here playing like two years ago, two plus years ago. <laughs> And uh, we'll see if there's anything spawned inside, see if anybody's at the entrance, see what I'm going to do inside. Um, I'll probably try to figure something out, whatever's going on in here. Yeah, there's somebody sitting right there. So I came in facing the direction I did so that I was looking north when I came in. I can run up on towards the stairs, the trash that would be spawned if these guys weren't here at the entrance, usually paths primarily around the southern edges of this area, like this. And they'll come all the way to here, but not as often. So they can be undead or living things, and sometimes they can be goos, which are living, so they see invis and they see invis versus undead because of the, the goos in here tend to see invis. And so I was going to, um, I come in with Invis vs. Undead up and fully ruined and everything in case the stuff in here can harm touch. If they can both harm touch because they're both undead, I'm Invis vs. Undead so I'm safe. And I can run out of my way and then prepare to fight. If one of them's living, one of them's dead, and they do see me when I zone in before I have a chance to run to the north, at least I've got a thousand hit points worth of runes ready to um, soak up damage and hopefully I won't get smoked. Um, if they're both living, then I'll probably get aggroed, but, you know, two living mobs isn't especially dangerous because they're not both going to harm touch me for a ton of damage. Hopefully I'm not stealing anybody's loot by doing that. There were quite a few people in here earlier today at one point, but not as many right now. I don't know what these guys are doing. Looks like they're evacuating out. Alrighty. Go time, I guess. So, the entrance area here is actually really safe, except for this guy. He's significantly higher level because he's from east than all the other stuff that's at the entrance area. He'll aggro you if you're sitting too close to this area. If your pets or anything are over here and they're fighting, he'll aggro because he's higher level. He has a long aggro range. Um, he's like really the only problem that you can run into fighting here. You get groups of two mobs at a time. Makes things pretty easy. Um, I think everything's right around level. Probably need to be using the levitate. Everything in here is right around level 45. Oops. I cast the wrong spell. I meant to mez that first guy. I was pretty bummed that I couldn't find Theft of Thought before I came over here, because it's such a great spell in this zone. It gives you so much mana when so many of the things that you're fighting constantly have, you know, mana bars, because they can, they can harm touch, so I guess the game thinks they're Shadow Knights, but they don't cast any spells, so you benefit by sucking up mana, but without um, 
having to worry about spells. But this entrance area is primarily these pyre golems. There's eight of them, you know, two in front of each wing. And the two mobs that spawn that path around in the middle here. Um, only some of the time are they undead. So it's not a big deal that I don't have a theft of thought to work with as I'm starting to level here. But I'm going to push to get it because down below in the basement area there's uh, lots more undead to be mana tapping to pick up the pace and be able to afford more runes more often. <laughs> and uh, once I move into the wings, you know, probably two-thirds of the stuff is undead. So again, tons of free mana. Number six over here will become Theft of Thought all the time. But for now, I'll just show you how I operate in this entrance area right here. Um, maybe I'll even get lucky and... Uh, you know, that's a 54 spell. I might even see Theft of Thought drop in here. That'd be pretty sweet. I also need Clarity 2, Dementia, and uh, my, like, level 53 stun wouldn't be bad to have either. Long cast time, but it's a long stun also. How I'll ideally fight in here is I'll kill this stuff in the middle first. And then I'll have, I mean, you can see how much room there is to work with here, as long as you don't come over here in this area, close enough to this east pather when he comes out that you gotta grow him. You can sit down here, or even all the way over here, and fight this spot. F sit over here to fight the stuff that's way over here. Sit here, or here to fight the stuff that's up here. And you just fight him on the spot if you use a lull. And um, I don't know how long ago the stuff in the middle was killed, so I'm being a little cautious about that, but... You have lots of room to work with. You only fight two things at a time. But you're getting in the dungeon XP bonus, and you're getting spell drops, and... Uh... I've spent a lot of time leveling in this <laughs> location. Um, that's not gonna... Anarchy's not gonna kill it. Yeah, maybe it will. Um... On Tecmos, on blue, I spent a lot of time here because I tended to just take the very easiest thing that I had found for XP. And this was such an easy, safe spot. That, and especially when I was leveling him, it was a very quiet spot. There wasn't a lot of... Uh, there weren't a lot of other people ever in here. And even on red, it was really quiet. So I've spent a lot of time XPing right at this entrance. You can get up to... I'm pretty sure this stuff is like no lower than like 42 or 43. So you can get up to the mid-50s at least before this stuff is ever light green. Maybe even higher than that. And the basement's basically the same level. You go into north, it's like trash. It's like level 46-ish, 44 to 46. And then the names are 50. And then in west, stuff is just a little bit higher. And then in south, you'll run into trash that's up to 52, and names that are up to 55. And east, you'll see name trash that's like 53 or 54 highest, and trash that goes all the way up to 56. Mm, it's so nice and calm and quiet in here. I like it. I was talking with Briscoe earlier today commenting that, uh, you know, the content that I enjoy doing is, is relatively irrelevant nowadays. Not relevant. And I'm definitely a, a washed-up has-been nowadays on the server. <laughs> you know, after, after all the huge amount of time I poured into the game playing Tecmos and a bunch of different alts um, throughout Kunark, then, you know, RMTing all that away. So now I'm, I'm left with a just a couple of characters left over that you know, weren't involved and never got banned. And um, this guy with like 7,000 plat to his name and a handful of shitty gear. Maybe even less gear than I had on Tecmos when I was this level because um, I twinked Tecmos by the sale because back at the time you could sell characters legally. So I sold Fish Semmel, my old bard who was 59 epic, third epic bard on the server. 
so I had a few hundred thousand platinum when I created my rogue and my enchanter and so Tecmos had like a Pegasus cloak and J boots and some clickies and stuff like that uh, Tranix crown hero cloak he had stuff like that when he was at this level I believe so much more gear than, than I currently have but um that's not going to stop me from being effective and being irrelevant and it has been is certainly not going to stop me from enjoying playing the game the way I like to which is what I'm doing right now um, so I'll be doing a lot of it apparently since I actually have been enjoying myself uh, even though I haven't played in ages I've been busy with other games and stuff you know I don't know if I can get off this charm before he gets to me or not we're going to find out I think I can. Oh, so close. The ads that spawn in here will spawn right now. There, there you have it, right there. Now this is the time when I wish I had theft of thought because it'd allow me to keep the skeleton alive as long as possible so that I could keep sucking mana out of him every two minutes. Um, but, you know, I'll get by with that. I just need to be a little careful because the second mob from the middle area might spawn while my pet is broken here in a sec when I'm trying to get him killed. And I don't want him to, uh, there he is right there. So I gotta try and finish this guy off before these guys get all pissy at me. Roots hold, no problem, right? Of course, roots don't hold quite as well as they used to in the past, so <laughs> still getting a feel for how roots hold and don't hold compared to the past. Like it used to be by 52, when the stuff's toshed, a root would never, ever, never, ever wear off early. Now it still sticks pretty well, but there's a little flexibility. Damn. I was worried. I noticed I was a little slow on Still apparently didn't. Anyways, still a little rusty apparently. So right now, a theft of thought would throw my mana back up to about 100%. But I'll survive without. Where my where I'm fighting over there, I'm safe from the pather. It's far enough away, but I wouldn't want to fight anywhere inside these pillars here. Like this, It'd definitely be too close. Especially if I sit down, it's going to get me killed. No, please don't heal my pet. Thank God. 
It's always annoying when other players don't understand how enchanters work when they're XPing like this and they end up trying to help by DPSing something or um, you know healing my pet or something and all it does is throw off my, my process and then I've been left trying to kill a pet that's got a shitload of hit points left or I don't get XP for a kill at all because somebody else did you know more damage to it than I did because I only needed a little bit to finish it off but these guys are It's quiet in here. There were like 12 people in here earlier today when I was, um, I don't remember how to hide that window. There we go. There were quite a few people in here earlier today when I was in City of Mist, and I checked to see who was in here. Mm, deliciously quiet. There's a reason I enjoy my soloing. I enjoy being pretty damn antisocial. I don't remember exactly how quickly I can keep this cleared, you know, if everything's going well. But, because I don't remember how much time I spent here with, at 54 plus, when I would have a lot fewer charm breaks, dementia to finish things off instead of just Discord and Mind, Clarity 2, and Theft of Thought, all of which I'm lacking right now. But I know that at some points I would pull all eight of the duos of golems and the two mobs in the middle. Every respawn in here is like 20 some minutes. 22, 25, 26, something right around there. So, you know, a kill every three minutes is not half bad um, for soloing in here. Getting, uh, you know, 18, 20, 22 percent of your 50, level 51 plus level per hour. Um, quite safely. It's nice. It's a good deal. You don't really need to worry about runes in here at all because um, you know it's going to be very rare that you get that you are trapped in a small enough space that you can't you know avoid getting hit. You know if 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 nothing else, I would just I would skip on my short-term runes entirely just um, I don't think I'm trying to I don't think I can hit these guys with AOE meds we'll find out here. oh that's how I got fights started really easily okay I thought they were too spread apart to be able to do that um, anyways um, it'd be easy to keep just a regular rune up um, since it lasts a long time as an extra bit of buffer in case you misjudge this respawn in the middle or somebody else aggroes the east pather and you need to buy some wiggle room to CC things before you can gate out or whatever but when you you got this much room to work with um, safely uh, you know there's not really any point in spending your mana that you have a limited amount of every hour by metting um, on a bunch of runes that you're never even going to need who knows, I might get cocky just being here for a little bit and I'll stop even recasting like Shadow and Arch Shielding. I'll just keep Clarity and Adorning Grace up and maybe Rune all the time. Hopefully I can zip through, uh, you know, I'll do, I'll just, I'll kill a couple cycles around. This will be probably a pretty short video because you've already seen basically the entirety of what I do in this spot and it's only been 19 minutes. I'll kill these two and maybe two more and I'll probably call it good. The only trick with pulling here, if you want to, 
is if you're going to pull these two over here by east, these stairs are a trap. You'll fall through them if you try to step on them. And you have to be careful to only pull these back, back well away from the stairs uh, when the east pather has walked through the door and you've given him a minute to wander off so that he's well out of range. So that he's not, um, you know, get aggro. Not that it's impossible to kill a level 52 at this level, but it wouldn't be pleasant. Um, and if I would have been a little quicker on my toes, I could have just charmed him instead of mezzing him and then charming. But, you know, you're seeing right now how much space you have to work with and how much time it gives you. And I, I can even run up these stairs now because I know these two behind me aren't going to respawn until well after the stuff over here spawns at least, and that's not up yet either. So, lots of wiggle room, lots of space to work with. You'll see when I make a base, uh, basement video, there's not nearly as much room downstairs. There's also some casters downstairs, which will cast some nukes to hit for a few hundred, so they can work you over pretty quick if you're not careful. I believe the basement only has wizard mobs, uh, but depending on what wing of the zone you're in, you'll see necros, shadow knights, actual shadow knights. Shit. Almost got my pet killed. Oh, sorry, pal. Don't sit right by the entrance. Move out of the way. Poor little dead dude. zone into this zone without at least some form of invis up. Maybe he had invis versus undead up and I just didn't, you know, can't see it, but. Well, wait for these to respawn and then you'll have seen the cycle that I'll be doing for now until I get, um, until I get theft thought probably, and then I'll try to be pulling the stuff up by east also. since I don't need the hit point buffer. <laughs> Howling Stones. It's been a long time coming. I think it's been... My first video was about four months ago with this guy. I had him quite a bit longer than that, at least a few months longer than that, but I hadn't played him much. I got him up to like 12 or something. I don't know, 8, 9, 10, 12 months ago, something like that but I didn't play much after that. And then I XP'd in Kara Isle, quit it over there. The day Valley's released, I was XP'ing in Kara Isle, and then, for whatever reason, I just got, I was like, man, well, this release event's lame. <laughs> I didn't get any items, or I don't even know how it worked, really. Um, I talked to Sven a little bit as he was doing something, and then I quit. <laughs> that was, that was, I didn't play for the first several months of Elias, except for the very first evening. Um, but yeah, been a long time coming, getting back here. It sounds like quite a, f quite a few people have been excited to see my videos from Hauling Stones. Uh, it'll be a little bit before I get into North. I'll wait till I make 54. Clarity 2 makes a big difference. Between that and Theft of Thought, you know, you got a lot of extra mana to work with. Um, the pulls in there are even when you're just pulling the hallways, it's easy to get three or four mobs at a time that you're fighting. And, uh, you know, with my relatively low level of gear, it's not bad, I guess, you know. But, you know, I have a ton of mana. I sacrifice a lot of it to get my charisma up to 255. And uh, when you're dealing with four mobs at a time, if you want to get XP for all of them, especially full XP, you uh, you need that theft of thought to keep you going. But for now, I'll just, you know, have this relatively short video here for the entrance area, and then I'll make another entrance, uh, another video for the basement. Probably longer, because I'll crawl all around in the tunnels that are down there, just to show the layout of the basement. It's not really anything too special down there. You know, there's a bunch of melee mobs, skeletons that harm touch, um, 
the golems, the little feaster, sperm-looking dudes, the goos, and then some skeletons that are wizards, just spawning and wandering around. And there's a big area straight below that a few things wander around in, and then there's also boy, look at all this mana I've got. I got a mana to kill. Excuse me. <coughs> and um, I forgot what else I was going to say. Um, anyways. Well, I'll spare you more of this right now because I don't know how much longer this is going to take. And it's, you know, this, you've already seen everything that I do here. So, um, glad to be back in Howling Stones. Hopefully, people are uh, going to enjoy the videos that I'm doing in here. And uh, if I stay on a P99 roll, hopefully I'll be 54 shortly, and then I'll be in north where things get a lot more interesting than right here. I'll see you guys around.